Oh man, is it a hap, hap, happy, happy day. I haven't had internet, functioning internet for, oh geez, two weeks maybe. Come in, go out, come in, go out. If I come in at midnight, I had it for a couple hours and then it would disappear. No internet at all, no connection. Uh, incredibly, incredibly bad. And they come in with fiber optic into our neighborhood. And I have fiber optic on my internet. I can't believe it. Full screen video I can watch. It's really, really fantastic. Really fantastic. Um, I've joined the 20th century over here. I'm just so happy. Uh, except for that part. Except for that part. Phone. Oh my God. I intensely, intensely dislike phones. Intensely. Who was that? Did that Alexander Graham Bell or something? Jeez, if I go back in time, I go back here and kick him. Oh, but this video is about communication. Oh, look at this. We're gonna. This is gonna be a very useful uh, uh, video for a few different people here. I've been asked some things, and I said, "Well, here I'm gonna put in, put it into a video and explain um, communication and uh, getting money over here, money transfer." I'm going to do the money transfer first because it's really quick, really easy, and really, really great. There's a service called XZoom or XOOM. It's X O O M dot com. They are fantastic. They're fantastic. You latch on to your bank account with them, it's easy to log on. You log in, you tell them, transfer your money and it's done. It costs $4.95 to transfer your money and it's transferred to one of the pickup points here. Not one of them, it's one of like two, 3,000 pickup points in the Philippines where you can go get your money or they bring it to your door. You can actually get money delivered to your door. I did this first with uh, Myra before I came over. I had sent money a couple times because I wanted to get a, uh, I wanted to get a place rented here, so I had to send the money to her, and uh, she did have a problem one time, and I and I just went ahead and sent some money. She didn't even know it was coming until I said, "Hey, stick around the house because you're going to get some money in a couple hours," and they walked up to the door and handed it to her, and this cost four dollars and five cents. The service does. The exchange rate varies. I've had some really, really good exchange rates, but the worst has been about, I think, 2%. has probably been the worst. Um, I got one here uh, about a week ago. I don't know how it happened that uh, the exchange rate was, it actually cost me one half of a percent to, uh, to transfer my, uh, the, the exchange rate besides the, uh, the transfer fee. But XZoom, I'll put a link down below. and. Uh, Tell them Jack sent you. Um, it's it's a very it's it's just it's just the very best way to transfer your money that I that I've seen out here yet. Um, now, if you're going to be over here permanently, you know you're going to be here permanently. You know there's no chance you're going to change. You can get yourself money directly deposited into a bank here. Um, I don't have an astounding amount of faith in some of the banks here. Um, even some of the larger banks are uh, they're, they're, they're very local in how they deal with things because you put money in this bank doesn't mean always you can get it out to the other bank you can but it's not going to be a, uh, uh, the easiest process in the world to, to me I keep that American bank and transfer that money and spend five bucks a month and know that my money's in a safe sound secure location and uh, that's just my thinking so that's enough about the money thing. You, you can get direct deposits over here and set yourself up an account. Um, it's, it's almost not worth it to me. When I, when I think about it, it's not worth it. My ATM card works over here. Um, this isn't like United States. You can't go out there and everything you buy, you buy with, it, with an ATM card. As a matter of fact, a lot of things, geez, I think, 
I think the biggest drugstore in the Philippines just started accepting ATM cards around last month. Um, it's not a common thing over here to take a credit card. It just isn't. Um, at least in the area I'm at. i got to qualify every time the area I'm at. Because if you're sitting down in the middle of a tourist area, I'm sure they gear up a lot more towards using uh, uh, the American credit cards. Okay, so we're done with that part. Communication. Communication is really, uh, it's hard to beat Skype. Hard to beat Skype. You get on your cell phone, you communicate with anybody else with a Skype phone for free. And for a few dollars a month, it really isn't much I pay at all. I wish I wish I had my bill in front. I think I pay like three dollars. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say. I don't pay much at all for my Skype, but I do pay for it because I have an Arkansas phone number. Anybody who wants to call me in the United States calls this Arkansas phone number, and they talk to me on my Skype. And it's, it's kind of funny because... My, my daughter, it's really kind of fun because my daughter uh, was having trouble with her cell phone and lost her cell, her cell communication and everything. And I'm over here and I said, geez, I'm in, I'm in Philippines and you can call me on my phone number here. Because she had some weird phone number of a 721 area code or something, something weird that she, was, that she had for her phone number. Anyway, my Arkansas number, you can call there. And when I call from here, it comes from Arkansas. Now, I understand it doesn't always, because somebody said, well, there's a number on my screen, it was a 640 or something, but uh, uh, I've had several people say, oh yeah, this is 479, it's Arkansas Exchange that come up. I wonder, wonder if you got back, if you came back or not. Um, but these are services through, uh, through Skype to get yourself a local phone number in the United States. And also, if I use my Skype and I call here in the Philippines, I have a reserve fund that I put in so I can call people here in the Philippines. And it costs me um, 12 cents a, yes, 12 cents a, a minute to call any place in the Philippines. And since I don't really thrill with telephones, um, that's plenty for me. I know I just, if I have to do something on a phone, it's a very short thing. Hello, goodbye, get it done with. Unless it's some kind of a business thing, which usually uh, gets a little carried away then. Okay, now, what else are we going to talk about here? It's actually going to be a pretty short video because those are two things. That, oh, Internet, Internet, Internet is death-defyingly bad. It has been ever since I got over here. And they finally brought fiber optic into, into my area here and I got fiber optic internet now. I am so happy, oh my God. I can stream and see movies and watch videos and YouTube doesn't go It plays straight and smooth all the way through. Straight and smooth all the way through, I just love it. And I can upload. I can upload a video in a reasonable amount of time. I put it on there and go, well, geez, I think it broke. I don't think it even worked. And I look in here, it is already uploaded. So um, everything is nice. Everything is nice. Um, I'm very, very happy with this Internet. Very, very happy with it. Of course, they'll probably put on 4,000 people on my line. They'll slow down like a snail in uh, six months, but right now it's faster than a speeding bullet. I couldn't ask for any better than what I have right now. Um, so that's going to end us about this one. Now I got this video is coming to an end. Hey, you all have a nice day, and I'm going to do another video back to back, but I, I think I'm going to do about the state of the nation here or something. Uh, not the state of the nation, nation of my little nation. Hey, y'all have a nice day. Hasta la vista. Hey, subscribe to me. And if you like these videos, click that little like button. That's a little nice when you click the like button. I look down and go, oh, people like to hear my videos. They like what I'm doing. Why do you think I'll make another video? So that's, uh, that's a heck of an encouragement for me. Thank you very much again.
This time I really am gonna go. 